Problem number 16 on YDSC. Again, we continue with introduction of thin transparent sheet. So here, rather than having one sheet, we introduce two sheets here. So we are using a monochromatic light. Wavelength is given. So there are two different sheets. Both have same value of T, but mu value are different. This is 1.4 and this is 1.7. The question is uh, which side the uh, if we're just looking at this value, uh, can we uh, can we infer which side the center bright fringe will shift? See, this also increasing path length, this also increasing path length, but here increase is more. So as two P as from path from S2 is increasing optically, hence uh, central bright fringe has to shift closer to S2 to compensate for increase in optical path length due to sheet here. Physical path length has to become shorter. It will shift to downward direction. It will shift towards S2. It will shift towards slit having higher refractive index. Okay. Shift will towards the slit having longer path length towards S2. And okay, so here also, and uh, now in this case, what is the extra path length due to glass sheet here? Extra path length you can calculate. This also some extra path length, and minus extra path length here will get difference in path length because of the sheet here. So t uh, mu minus one minus t into mu dash minus one. So this is the extra path length due to glass sheet. It becomes t mu minus mu dash, and uh, and this one it is given here. Uh, other way by doing so, central bright fringe shifts to fifth bright fringe. So basically, the optical path difference created by two sheets put together it's equivalent to five lambda. That's why it has shifted to a position which was initially occupied by fifth bright fringe. So uh, extra path length due to glass sheet has to be equal to five lambda. Values of mu and mu dash are given. So if I had to substitute these values, p into 1.7 minus 1.4, these are two values of mu2 and mu1, has to be equal to 5 into lambda. Lambda is given as 4,800 Armstrong. And from here, I can calculate the value of t comes equal to 80,000 80, Armstrong. That's the thickness which is required. So answer could be Armstrong, it could be in a micrometer or whatever number, we can easily evaluate. Even with two sheets also, we can easily solve. Um, method remains very similar. 